What is going on YouTube, Fez of Family, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe for all the latest UK Minute updates and short videos and let's just get right into it, I've got a lot of stuff I want to cover. First things first, an American story, Tory Lanez has been charged of the shooting of Megan Thee Stallion and could be facing up to 22 years inside but that is the maximum sentence he would get. Literally this guy has kept me entertained all over lockdown but just goes to show you, even when you've got all this money, you can still find yourself in silly situations, even Stormzy recently turned up to Chip's house, these guys are millionaires and still getting in trouble. Tory Lanez took to Twitter recently and said, Time will tell and the truth will come to light. I have all faith in God to show that love to all my fans and the people who've stayed true to me and know my heart. A charge is not a conviction. If you supported me or Meg through this, I generally appreciate you. Like he said guys, it's not a definite he's even going inside right now because a charge is not a conviction. Just because you've been prosecuted for something, they still got to find you guilty and you still got to make a plea and everything can go to court. Just to get dragged out due to COVID and probably won't have a decision until the end of the year or next year. But guys, as for my thoughts on this, I just think it's never a good look to show any kind of aggression towards females. And when you're in the public eye, we see what happened with Chris Brown. He got forgived eventually and his record got cleaned up. There's people still hate on him today. But the thing is with this, like... You're already way stronger than a girl, unless she's got a strap or a gun or whatever. Why the hell are you going to pull a gun on her? That's just crazy. Like, you're already way stronger than her if you're going to do something to her, push her, restrain her in an argument. But pulling a, a strap on her, that's crazy. But I don't know the full story. I might cover it in another video if you guys want to see that. Just comment below and let me know. But regardless, to 22 years now, but it's been thrown around, it's been blown way out of proportion. We'd be lucky to see this guy do a year and just get out on some sort of community service or probation. The truth will come out soon, let's not take sides until we find out the full story. Guys, a lot of people have turned their back on Tory, but no one has had their back turned on him more than Wiley. Let me just stick up for this guy for a second because he's been censored to a whole nother level. He's making YouTube channels with strange names just so he can upload. There's a platform that literally is meant to be for freedom of speech that he was on. They've shut him off as well. A lot of people make mistakes and say silly things online, but you need to censor Wiley to this level in this degree. At times, he's a bit of a troll, yes, and at times he comes across wrong, and it's not what you say, it's the way you're intending it, but a lot of times the way he says stuff just comes out completely wrong but i do think he should still have a voice and be on social media he's not that much of a threat to the world if you don't want to watch him to just block him or don't look at his stuff but why not have wiley back on it i don't think he wants to be on certain platforms i don't know he said in a video recently i don't want to be on it i don't want to come back because of blah blah so certain ones he's not on but it just feels like they're censoring him and i don't get why I get the fact a lot of YouTubers probably won't even make a video about Wiley now because they don't want to risk their own brand or their own channel. But at the end of the day, I'm a firm believer in freedom of speech. If you guys support the fact that we should all have a freedom of speech and not get blocked off social media just because certain mistakes, leave a like on this video if you support that. And if Wiley, I'm still going to cover Wiley's stories on my channel. He's been a massive part of the scene and done a lot of good things. And just because he made silly mistakes, there's a lot of old guys that say silly things. I know I do not agree with the comments he made about Jews and stuff. I don't think any race should be singled out to be a certain way. I disagree with that, but you could disagree with people, forgive them and move on. If he continues to do it, yeah, then it's a problem. He has trolled a lot of people, but he's not a bad person. I think the platform he's on right now is OnlyFans. I don't think he's taking his clothes off for us, though. I think he just posted normal stuff on there, but that's the only platform that hasn't censored or shut him down yet. But guys, what is your thoughts? Comment below. Do you think Wiley should be shut down and keep him off social media? Is it for his own good? Or do you think we should let him have freedom of speech? Comment below. But guys, in other news, OFB member Isport was recently attacked. There's been an update on that situation. Two people have actually been charged for it. But like we said earlier, a charge is just a charge. They still got to have their case and he could still be innocent. We don't even know what's going on. So the team have not put out an official statement on that exact, exact thing yet. But guys, Isport has obtained some injuries. So we'll go and show your love to him on his Instagram page and hopefully he pulls through. It's alleged that he's lost sight in one eye. But in more positive OFB news, the recent song supporting Black Lives Matter with Band OK, Double L's and Abracadabra is literally everywhere. It's on billboards up in central London, Westfield. Literally have a look, Double L's was by it in London. One issue is good to see YouTube supporting not only OFB but a very good cause in the BNM movement. They've got behind it. Their logo is on the picture with it and they've actually featured OFB on the YouTube music page. Huge, huge, huge respect to these guys. They could have just made another song and tried to go for the charts and stuff, but they've actually tackled a huge message. And what some people are trying to blacklist it and stuff and not get the message out there about the Black Lives Matter movement. These guys are making a song about it and to put it everywhere and promote it how they have as well. Huge credit to these three and huge credit to OFB in general because they're doing absolute bits for the scene right now.
probably won't get appreciated for what they've done, but I just want to give them a credit now rather than years from now. Coldplay even responded saying all love to OFB, this hit hard and all proceeds from Trouble Sample which supports the Broadwater Farm Community Centre. It looks like they will actually be given back to the community for this song as well. Not much to say on this because obviously Stormzy has not responded yet but a quick update regards to the Chip and Stormzy thing. Of course there's a lot of videos going around on Instagram, one where it's like a public service announcement saying Stormzy responded. This is a very cleverly edited video to make it look like Stormzy responded. A lot of people that post it know that and only joking but some people are thinking Stormzy has responded with this video. It's just an old clip of him joking around when he used social media a lot just saying some things and they've put it together to make it look like a response. Okay, okay. Public service announcement, yeah? That would make you think I'm mature, but I'm not. So, pussy on number one. What the fuck? And for all the people, yeah, all the mature people telling me I should be more mature, their uh, their kids, I should allow them. Nah. Nah. I hear you, but nah, nah. Like, nah, nah. That's all just a bit of banter, man. Fuck off, yeah? You've been fucking me off for the past couple of days. Yeah, so guys, the moral of the... What's, what's that? We've caught another pussy! Oh, you kids make me feel old. You lot are fucking nuts. You lot are just nuts. You lot are just trolls. You lot... You lot... You lot are just trolls. You lot... Fuck, you know, look at um, Chip, of course, has tweeted as well saying, hurry up, kiss my teeth. He's getting impatient. I'm pretty sure he has other tracks ready. I reckon he's got at least a couple waiting where he can just push out the second Stormzy responses to counteract him. Literally, guys, you keep messaging me saying, when is Stormzy going to respond? When's he going to respond? I've had a few people messaging me that seem like good sources saying that he's got studio equipment and stuff. He's got things for filming and that there's a response coming. I've had other people that don't seem good sources that were messaging me saying he's going to respond. I do think, personally, it's coming because he's got to he wears that crown he says he's the king of this game let's see if you can do it he responded to Wiley and Wiley and Chip are as big as each other really for the game you could kind of compare the two on terms of how much they've done but if you're going to respond to Wiley I just don't see why you wouldn't to Chip and the thing is this you pulled up to his house so we know he can get you emotional and he can affect you by what he's saying so it's kind of like you've forfeited if you don't reply because you haven't responded it's the thing you do best rather than pull up at his house on all that stuff why don't you just take it out on your music he can actually do it in the wiley thing he proved he can hold his own a lot of us see chip as the king of the pen and stuff like that but stormzy's gonna have certain people no matter what there's always such thing as preference and people are gonna be like nah stormzy killed him no matter what he's got enough fans to make people take his side will we see the response we don't know stormzy's a multi-millionaire who wakes up in his mansion and can do what he wants i'm sure a lot of people that considered him the king We'll lose respect for him if he don't respond, but we'll see. But guys, thank you for watching this video. And when the Stormzy response does come, I'll be covering it on this channel. So make sure you subscribe, like the video, and push that notification bell. Peace out.